You walk up to the CDJs. You plug in your USB drive. You look down and then you start to sweat. You have no cue points. The grid is wrong and none of your playlists are on there. And what's worse, it's only 30 seconds until you have to play your first track. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your USB drive, export your tracks and playlists from Rekordbox to a USB, avoid some common exporting mistakes that can ruin DJ sets, and give you a bonus tip that might help you avoid losing your whole music library. You can't plug any old USB drive into a CDJ and expect it to work. We need to make sure this and this talk the same language. Can you see the film from Jude Law? No, je n'aime pas la tech house. Make sure Rekordbox is closed and plug in your USB drive. I'm going to show you how to format this on my Mac, but the process is pretty similar in Windows. Press Command and space to bring up Spotlight. Type in Disk Utility. On the left, you should see your USB drive appear under the external section. In my case, it's this one here, names like a cheap condom. Click on it and then click Erase. Most CDJs in the world are older than modern humans. We need to format our drives with ancient technology so that the CDJs understand it. Under File System, select MS-DOS BAT. That's right, MS-DOS. I told you this was ancient. Give it a name. I'm going to call it DNB1. I'll explain why I put that one later in the video. Once you've done that, click Erase. Our USB drive is now ready to accept Rekordbox's filthy music babies. Open up Rekordbox and plug in your USB. It'll appear on the left hand side, just expand that if you can't see it. If you usually use Rekordbox with a controller, it's likely you'll be in performance mode. To get our files onto the USB, there's another mode called export mode. Switch to it using this drop down at the top left. Before we carry on, there's something you should know about export mode. It doesn't like streaming. That means if you use services like Tidal or SoundCloud, you can't copy those to your USB. The one exception is Beatport. With a Rekordbox Pro or Creative plan and a Beatport subscription, you can authorize a USB drive to work with your metadata on the CDJs. But it's so ridiculously complicated, it would need another half hour video to explain how it works. In export mode, you can also do some track preparation. Drag a track onto the window at the top. Then if you you want you can set hot cues, memory cues or even save loops. You can also adjust the grid. All of this information will be readable by the CDJ. Well, most of the time. On the left you'll see your record box playlists. I'm going to go over some unique ways you can create playlists in a future video so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But for now I've set up a couple of drum and bass playlists based on subgenre. I've already been through, sorted the grids out and set my hot cues. Everything we've done so far has been on our laptop. We now need to get all that music onto a USB. There's two ways to do this, the tedious way and the lazy way. If you're just planning to add one or two playlists to the USB, you might prefer to just right click on the playlist, do export playlist and then choose the USB drive. Rekordbox will helpfully tell you all the thousands of features that won't work on most equipment. Wipe your tears away and click OK. You'll see a progress bar appear at the bottom. If we scroll down to our USB drive, expand it, go to playlists, you'll see we've now got our drum and bass jungle playlist on there. For now, I'm going to remove it so I can show you the next way to sync playlists to your device. Click on Sync Manager at the bottom left of Rekordbox. At the top right in the drop down, make sure your USB drive is selected. Then tick Synchronize Playlist with a device. I'm not going to go into iTunes syncing today, but the way this window works is everything on the left moves to the right until it gets to your USB drive on the far right. For now, we're just going to focus on syncing Rekordbox to the USB. In the Sync Manager, you can simply tick the folders and playlists you want to synchronize to your device. I'm going to sync the Jungle and Neuro playlists. Because they're in a folder, that folder will also be replicated on the USB drive when I sync it. We now need to press this right facing arrow. As soon as you do that, you'll see a progress bar appear at the bottom of Rekordbox. Now watch with awe as the progress bar slowly fills up at a speed that would impress even a snail with a hip replacement. If you want, you can come out of Sync Manager and do other things while you're waiting. If we look at our device, expand playlists, expand the folder the playlists were in, you can now see our two playlists have been synced. Before you rip out the USB drive like a bikini wax, 
Make sure to eject it from Rekordbox using this button here next to the device. If you don't do that, it might get corrupted. There's a few other reasons I like to use Sync Manager over the manual method. While you're playing out, if you decide to add any hot cues, change the grid, or set any loops, the CGJ will save that information back to your USB drive. It can be useful to update that information in Rekordbox back on your laptop after your gig. Back in export mode, click the Sync Manager button. You'll notice this left-facing arrow. Click on that and any changes made while playing out can be copied back from the USB into your record box library. Press OK when you see this message. Another benefit is it will automatically sync any changes you've made in Rekordbox back to the USB the next time you plug it in. So why can't you just drag and drop your files onto the USB like you might expect? If you do this, the CDJ will still pick them up, but you won't have any of your metadata. That includes stuff like your cue points, the grid information, or any loops you might have set. A common misconception is when you add a track to Rekordbox, it's actually stored in Rekordbox itself. This is a lie. Rekordbox just points to the file on your computer. Then it saves its own stuff like the cue points, etc., into its own database. They're two separate things. When you're exporting, a common error is to get messages about missing files. This can happen if you rename, move, or delete files or folders on your computer. Because Rekordbox was linking to that original file, it now can't find them. To fix this, go to File, Display All Missing Files, click on the track it can't find, then you can use Auto Relocate to relink it. Click OK. Click Sync Manager, find the playlist that had the issue, in this case it was the jungle playlist, and untick it. Then press the right facing arrow, then tick it again and send it back. You'll see the progress bar appear, and now our missing file is back. What's better than exporting something once? exporting it twice. In many cases, CDJs will be linked together with a ProLink cable. That means if you put a USB in one, all the other players will be able to read it. All my DJ friends who play in clubs regularly know that this is not always the case. Remember I added that one to our USB drive when we formatted it? I'll explain why I put that one later in the video. That's because every time you export, I recommend you do it on two USB drives. That means if the ProLink cable isn't working or one of the USBs gets corrupted, you've still got a chance of actually playing a set. This final big mistake is a real gotcha. In this example, I've synced this drum and bass liquid playlist to the USB. I'm going to eject it and pretend we fast forwarded a few days. I'm having my cornflakes one day and I decide a better name for this playlist would be Moist. Fast forward a day or two and I plug in my USB to get ready for a gig. You might think the next time you sync with your USB, Rekordbox will just update the name of that playlist. That of course would require Rekordbox to make sense or be useful. If we go into Sync Manager, we can see that Rekordbox has kept the original DMB Liquid playlist on the device, but it's got the DMB Moist playlist selected on the left. The next time we sync our USB, watch what happens. We'll actually now get a duplicate of the same playlist with two different names. This makes our USB really messy and we aren't sure which playlist is actually updated. Come out of Sync Manager, go to the device on the left, expand playlists, right click on the old playlist name that we don't want anymore and choose delete. Click OK. Rekordbox will ask you if you also want to delete all the tracks that are in that playlist. Now, of course, all we've done is rename the playlist, so we still want all the tracks. So probably best to click No. We've now got our DMB Moist playlist on the USB drive with all the tracks that we need. Sync Manager should now work properly as long as you don't rename that playlist again. One of the biggest nightmares a DJ can have is losing their USB drive. I said at the start of the video I had a bonus tip that might just save you from disaster. Create a text file with some basic contact details. After you've exported from Rekordbox, pop that text file on the USB. That way you might just get it back if the worst happens. Playing confidently on club gear like this is about more than just getting tuned onto a USB drive. Did you know there's a way to use this to make playing on it even easier? So watch this video next and learn about the hidden Rekordbox feature that most DJs aren't using. Using. 